Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how to get your own Docker server set up so you can start self-hosting uh, various services, but we're going to do it 100% for free. You're only going to need an internet connection and some time. This is not, you're not even going to have to host at your house. You can, it's 100% it's in the cloud, free, with a free domain name and free DNS. So the way we do that is we get an Oracle, Oracle cloud server. So if you follow this guide right here, I'll put the link in the description, then you can get a free VM instance from Oracle. And that is a pretty good deal. It's not, it's not that big, you know, it's only got a gig of RAM and it's a virtual CPU, but it is free and it, it will work. So you follow this guide and then you get your free Oracle server and a free IP address. Then to get a free domain, you go to freenom.com and you register a domain. So I'm just going to do that right now. I'm going to register a domain for this tutorial series. All right, now it is selected, so I'm going to check out with it. And for the period, if you want to have it last as long as possible, collect 12 months at free. However, uh, Freenom. They do some shady stuff. I mean, they, they offer free domains. They kind of have to. So before the ex the domain expires, you should cancel it and then renew it. And do this a solid month before it expires, or else they will. Um, whenever you try to get it again, it might cost something. That happened to me before. So just just a note in case you want to use a free non domain and want to renew it again. Just cancel it before it's done. All right. Now we're going to continue. Okay, I have read the terms and conditions. Okay, so I domain is done. So now we're gonna go to my domains. And we need to use we need to set DNS up. So we're gonna go to Cloudflare, Cloudflare, make an account here, and add a site. However, so in the past this used to work without a hitch with the traffic, which is the reverse proxy that we're gonna be using. But nowadays they set a limit on the API. So uh, in the later video, I'm going to show you how you can get around that and still use traffic, even with a domain that you purchased or you got for free from freenon.com. If you want to, you can pay for a domain like a regular, more common TLD, and you can get it. You can use it with Cloudflare without any of the API restrictions, which makes it a lot easier. But I will say how to get around that in a later video. Okay, so you might have to wait a few minutes uh, after you go to Cloudflare because it'll take a while for the uh, for the domain to get fully registered. So once you wait a little bit, this should pop up right afterwards. So we're gonna click the free plan. Now we need to set our DNS records. So the first record we need is we need an A record and we're gonna set it to the root and it's going to go to the IP address of our Oracle server. So when you sign up, when you follow the guide, this one right here, it should tell you the IP address, the IPv4 address of it, and it should also give you an SSH um, key. All right, so you got the IP address put in, and this will be blurred out, so you can't read it just for security purposes, but it is a, you know, I'm pretty sure you guys know what an IP address is supposed to look like. So now we're going to save it, and you also want to make sure that it's proxy. That way, whenever you're hosting services, it'll look as if that they are um, going to a Cloudflare IP address. So your root IP address is stays masked. It's, it's, a, it's proxy. So there's that one, and we also need to add a CNAME record. And just for setting this up, um, we're gonna set a wildcard domain name with the target of. And you cannot have a wildcard um, DNS uh, record to be proxied. So we're gonna, we can delete this later, but to set first set it up, we need to have it. So now we're gonna click continue. So now, we gotta change our name servers. So to do this, 
we're gonna go back to freedom we're gonna manage the domain and what we do is we go to name servers because we're, we're just gonna use cloud flares instead of freedoms so I'm gonna paste that in paste that in we're gonna change the name servers and this might take a while to propagate it shouldn't take that long though so usually it's done within five minutes so we're gonna finish that later Okay, so now that we've gotten our uh, Cloudflare settings going, while we wait for that to propagate, we are going to get our server going, start doing some server configuration. So we've already done the DNS records, and that's already default set to full. So port forwarding, it's pretty, it's pretty simple. Uh, you can do a quick Google search for Oracle, but essentially you just got to edit the settings for your um, subnet, your virtual subnet, I, I think that's what it's called, and you add um, ingress rules to allow from anywhere to ports 80 and ports 443. And that's the same thing as doing port forwarding if you're hosting this at, at home. So now we're going to need to install Docker and Docker Compose. So I'm just going to do that this way. Okay, so now we can just check. All right, so that's good. Oh, you can just put a quick Q to get out of that, by the way. So now we gotta install Docker Compose. Go here. Get the latest release version, 1.28.2. Uh, copy that. Okay, now this, so as you can see, I'm really just copying and pasting these commands, so. And it's installed. You can also do this, we don't have to type in sudo every time we want to start a docker. And, you know, use docker propose. So now uh, we already have our, we need to make our folder, which we already have. Make your docker. And now we can do this. So one thing to note, this command might not work. So um, if the command does not work on your computer, just type in sudo apt install ACL. We already have it, but some computers don't, so just keep that in mind. So we have that. And now we gotta set the permission of the folder. There we go. So now we're gonna create our environmental um, variables. So you can use nano. Or if you're in Visual Studio Code, you can just make a new file, cut .env, and just uh, paste that block in for now. You can also do this, and we find that our user ID is 1001, and the Docker group ID. Our group ID is not showing up, which is normal, because we're gonna have to actually restart our computer. So we're just gonna save or restart the virtual machine. So after you install Docker, you have to restart, restart it. Uh, it's probably another way to do it, but restarting is pretty simple. So just type in sudo reboot now, and it will disconnect, which is normal. Visual Studio Code uh, says it's been disconnected. So we're just going to wait a little bit, and after it comes back up, our uh, correct group will show up. 
Okay, so now we're reconnected. So we're gonna run this ID command one more time. So that's our user. So 1001. And then Docker is actually 998. So we're gonna change that to 998. Okay, and now we also have to change the uh, name. So home Ubuntu, because that's just the default user for uh, for Oracle's stuff. And that is everything we need so far in the environmental variable file. So to summarize what we've done so far, we have gotten our free server from Oracle, we've gotten our free domain from Freenom, and we have attached that to the free DNS from Cloudflare. We have also installed Docker and Docker Compose on our server and started our environmental uh, variables file. In the next video, we will work on setting up the configuration for traffic, installing traffic, and the traffic container, which is the reverse proxy that runs all of our services with their respective subdomains. Stay tuned for the next one, and I'll see you later. Bye.